Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are immigration detention centers like? Ah, immigration detention centers, a topic often shrouded in mystery and controversy. Let's shed some light on the matter, shall we? Immigration detention centers are facilities where individuals are held while their immigration status is being examined or their removal proceedings are ongoing. Now, these centers are not all uniform. Some are owned and operated by the federal government, while others are contracted out to private companies. The facilities vary in size, with some accommodating a few dozen detainees and others housing thousands. In terms of living conditions, detainees are provided with meals, medical care, and access to outdoor recreation. However, it's important to note that these are not luxury accommodations. The living quarters are often dormitory-style rooms with shared bathrooms. Detainees also have access to legal counsel, though they must often arrange and pay for it themselves. In some cases, nonprofit organizations offer free legal assistance to those who can't afford it. While in detention, individuals may participate in educational programs, religious services, and work programs. However, participation isn't always voluntary, and the compensation is minimal. Now, the length of detention can vary greatly. Some individuals are released within days, while others may be detained for months or even years. This largely depends on the complexity of their case and the backlog in the immigration court system. To learn more, check out these links which you can click in the description below, and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe, and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.